Hey guys and welcome to episode 28 of the weapon reviews in which we will be covering the SCAR L. Now this weapon has been suggested by Destroyed1510 without any explanation, but we got 22 likes so who cares right? Starting off with the stats of the gun, the SCAR L with its 620 rounds per minute standard damage and bullet velocity looks kind of inferior to the comparable weapons such as the L85A2 or the AK74M. But do not worry, the weapon is still good. Sometimes it's just not as obvious when having a first look at it. It seems to have a magical combination of recoil characteristics, rate of fire, and accuracy that allows to perform better than what its numbers on paper would lead you to believe. By that I don't mean that it's going to magically pwn other weapons, but that I find it forces me to slow down and be smarter in selecting my targets, which then leads to better KDs and accuracy while playing with this weapon. Also I found it to be useful in general, it really shows how much important the tactical elements are in this game. And that being said, let's go fire this thing up. The first thing you'll notice with this weapon is its low recoil, though because you've got a 2.225 recoil to both sides, we cannot predict to which side the recoil will bring us. But do not worry, there is a decent fix for it, which we'll cover later up. But for now, let's just fire this thing up. Let us see how it goes if I do not control the recoil. As you can see, like I said, the recoil is going to both sides at the same. So it went to the right a bit and then went to the left. And let's say we could get about 10 shots while still landing all of them, which is pretty sick. Now let's see how we can control it with a full burst. Okay, so it kind of hits uh, most of the shots. Now let's try if I just go full try hard and get a laser beam out of this thing. As you can see, you're not going to miss any shots. They're all just point on. And like I said, this really forces you with the low fire rate to aim for your targets and just play smart and a bit slower. Alright, as for the attachments, they are really easy to choose. Just like the cage 2002 from our last episode, this thing will require a foregrip plus heavy barrel combo. Using a foregrip will decrease the horizontal recoil to 0.15 and make it easier for us to stay on target. To compensate for the loss of aim accuracy, we equip a heavy barrel. That way we have a gun that is controllable and still really accurate. Now if you want to go silent, which I don't really understand nor recommend, you can put a silencer on it. Though from my experience, you will do much better with the foregrip and heavy barrel combo. That being said, please do leave a like if you enjoyed the video, since it really helps me spread it out and of course, it is pretty motivational. Also, don't forget to choose which weapon should be voted next. Just post a comment of the weapon or thumb up an already existing comment. Whichever gets the most likes will be featured in the next video. Till then, take care and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.